this dandelion. I've returned to nature. I'm going to show you all one of my favorite wild forageable foods. Persimmon. This is American persimmon. Very different than the Asian persimmon, which are much bigger. The American persimmon has to be ripe in order to eat it. If you try to eat it unripe, it actually will uh, taste like chalk in your mouth due to tannic acid. So it's very important to let them get very soft and mushy, which is great for foragers because stores can't hijack it. But it's bad for stores because they can't ship it all around. So it's really just a backyard foraging treat. Here I have my bird's nest basket made out of Japanese stilt grass. It'll be perfect to harvest the persimmons. You can see them way up there. Yes. So the best way to get American persimmon is, first of all, they have to be ripe and they have to be very mushy. Then you just take the tree, give it a shake, and they fall onto the ground. Here you can see one. If the cap comes off very easily, which this one is even a little less ripe, but you see it can really mush in my hands. So you totally... Mmm. Can eat that. Here's another. Another two. So you can see it does not look like something you'd find in the grocery store. That's the blessing of it. So when it's mushy, it tastes like cotton candy. So in a few minutes of tree shaking, got wonderful, delicious persimmons. Remember, if they're unripe, they're going to be very tannic, but they should be very mushy. And they're delicious, and they taste like cotton candy. When they're ripe, the top should come off very easily within your fingers. And uh, check out more videos on my YouTube channel at Return to Nature Skills or you, uh, my Facebook channel at Return to Nature Skills. Have a great day. Enjoy your foraging.